Hi stamping friends, it's Becky Roberts here with Inking Idaho and today we are going to make a Valentine card that is styled like a marquee letter card where the little letters just slide in and out of the slots on the marquee. You can make this to say anything you want as long as your letters fit on the card um, using any size of alphabet. So let's get started. Today I'm cutting the alphabet from the Journey Serif Steel Rule die from Fun Stamper's Journey and Spellbinders. And then I'm using a stamp set and dies from Reverse Confetti. This is the Huggable stamp set. It's got all these little cute little images and then the Huggable dies. So we're going to choose one of these little guys today and color it up and put it on our card. So let's get started. I've already cut out my letters because what you need to do is you need to take a window sheet that is one and a quarter inch by about one inch pieces and cut it up and then glue each of your letters to those pieces. So I did this ahead of time whoops, because they do need to dry a little bit. So you want to glue your letter to the front of the clear window sheet. So we did that. And then we're going to use the heart instead of the O, and we're going to use one of these little images down here. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to color today with Copic markers on this little bear. And um, I'm using my Copic markers today just as coloring tools. I'm not really trying to find a source for light or to do anything super creative. I'm just coloring in these little, this little bear today. So although you are supposed to, you know, have a technique when you use Copics, yeah, well today we're not. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of shading around here because I know where some of this needs to be. And the marker that I'm using right now is an E44. The next one is E43. That's the next color that's a little bit lighter and we're just gonna work our way up in lightness on this bear, just blending a little bit here. The next marker is E42. And again, I'm just going to do some blending here. I'm actually going to back up. I forgot to put a little bit of the darkest color around his nose. We want that to stand out for sure. So then we're going to back up to the E43 and just kind of blend that in a little bit. Now back to the E42 where we were. I think I did all that. All right, and then E41 is our final color. This is the lightest brown and we're just going to color the rest of him in. Get his little ears and the top of his head. And then I just kind of gonna go back over this, blend it all together, fill in everything that's left on his arms and his legs. All right, so we're done with that color. I'm gonna take a W9 and just fill in the nose. Now we're going to work on the heart. So I'm gonna start with R59 and I'm going to color just a little bit around the, his hands that are holding the heart and a little bit up the sides. These markers are pressurized and so sometimes when I'm using a really dark color I'll take off both caps so that I don't get a little pool of color that I don't want. So this one is R29 and this is our next color. Kind of get that all scrubbed in there. And the next one that we're going to use is R24. And then the final color will be R14. And I'm just going to fill in everything that's left here. All right, so I'm gonna use my colorless blender to push some of this color off of his paw. Coloring under pressure, not my thing. 
And then I'm gonna take one of these colors, at this point I don't really care, and just fill that back in. There we go. All better. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the little dress, so I guess it's a girl, and the ears. I'm just gonna put a little bit of R22 in here. And then we're going to go to R20. I'm gonna fill in the rest of the ears. A little bit more on the dress. And then with R00, I'm just gonna fill in the rest of it. Now I have a white jelly roll pin and I'm just going to put a little comma and a dot right there and then just some little stripes in her dress just for something different. All right, so we are done with those now. So I'm gonna take the coordinating die and some purple tape and run this through my die cut machine. And through the magic of video, ta-da, we have another one. All right, so I have all of my letters ready to go. So I'm gonna get those all set out here. And then we're gonna put this little guy in for the O on the U. So I have my pieces to my card here. I have four strips of cardstock that are a quarter of an inch wide. I have a four by five and a quarter inch card base, and then I have my card or card front, and then I have my card base, which is five and a quarter by eight and a half. And so I'm going to fold that and get that ready. But this is the one we're going to work on today. So what we're going to do is put some foam tape on these little things so that they stand up a little bit, like this on the marquee board. So I am using these Duris. Where's my other thing? Adhesive foam. These are just little strips of foam tape. Peel them off, and I'm going to put them on the back of these. Now, I made my strips a little bit longer than I need because I like to be able to put them on here, line them up, and see where they are, and then I will cut off the excess. So I'm going to start with the top and the bottom first. Just go along the very bottom of the card. Get another one of these foam strips. Put it on here. Peel it off and put it on the top of the card, which is now probably the bottom of the card. All right, so we know that this is where we're gonna start. So we're gonna put the eye right in the middle. So I'm just going to take some mini glue dots and try to pick them up. Put a mini glue dot on there and then center him. Right there. Okay, and then on the bottom, we're gonna put the Y and the U and then he's gonna go in the middle. So we will put this on, a couple of mini glue dots. All right, now I'm gonna wait to put the little character on there for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with these strips for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to line this up and I'm going to put this one about right here. So it's just above the, the letters. And then I'm going to put these on here. Actually, I'm just going to go for it. You're gonna put your first two letters on all the way to the edge. Put 
the V on. Oh, maybe we should get it straight. There we go. And then I'm going to take a foam square and put it on the back of the heart. And put that right there. Then line this back up. I'm going to take one more strip of foam. Has a little mind of its own. And we're going to put this about right there. Okay? And now we'll take a foam square and we'll put this guy right in the center. And then he actually is going to sit on the bottom rung as well as that second to the bottom one. So he just adhesives to the bottom. Then you're going to take a big pair of scissors. I like these that have the non-stick blade, and they don't uh, get adhesive all over my scissor blades. Trim off everything that's hanging over. I'm going to turn it over and put some dimensional uh, foam on the back of these. Peel all this off. Find my card base and just line it up on here. And there you have it, a little marquee love. So this is with this Journey Serif font, and this one I made using the Honey Bee Stamps die. So these two have the bear, this one has the mouse. You can interchange them and make anything that you want out of them. Pretty cute, huh? For more creative ideas, you can follow along at www.inkingidaho.com. Thank you.